How's it going guys? Today we're going to start on the downpipe and intercooler piping on this thing and mounting the uh, intercooler. So, of course, I'm not going to show full step-by-step -step process because I already cut these pie cuts out, but I got these pie cuts in here. Got them just kind of tacked up for now. Got that just blue taped. And yeah, so this is kind of what we're working with with the exhaust. It is going to be a pain in the ass to run it under there. Um, I do have a transition so this is three inch to two and a half so i'm going to be over here that will be a boost actuated cutout so after the boost actuated cutout it's going to go i'm going to put that uh transition onto it that goes from three inch to two and a half so that way it's easier to route the two and a half through the lower control arm over there um got the intercooler kind of mounted up still not 100 percent if i'm going to leave it like this but i think i'm going to leave it like that just so that way it's easier to run that right there then this one should be kind of easy to run up. I just had to move this out of the way, which we'll probably get a smaller uh, overflow for it and route it somewhere else. But yeah, that should be pretty simple to do. I'm kind of worried about the oil return line, but hopefully it's not too bad. I'm gonna weld up these pie cuts so it's easier to back purge them and weld them just by themselves. So I did get all these pie cuts welded up. It's not gonna focus because it's all shiny, but came out pretty good. Um, definitely could have back purged it a little bit better. Um, it didn't sugar, but it's just not, I mean, it's kind of dull on the backside. So definitely could have done better on the back purge, but it's still purged, so it's all that matters. Um, just gotta mock this back up on there and kind of mock how the 90's gonna go on there and see where I'm gonna run the flex pipe at. Um, I don't have any of the two and a half inch, so I'm waiting on that. But I also don't have the boost actuated cutout, so I gotta wait on that too, so it's not a big deal. I might be getting a different car in while I'm doing this downpipe, so we'll see what I finish first. But I'm hoping to finish this downpipe before I start on the other car, so we'll see. Get this mocked up real quick. So I got it mocked up on the turbo. There's a tight fit in there, and I just wanted to address some of the people who are asking about these loose wires and that they're obviously going to melt and I'm obviously going to tie them up and out of the way so they don't melt but it's a really tight space in there there's not a whole lot of room especially with the tire full turned this is with it just straight but with it turned it gets a little bit closer um I don't know if we're going to get a turbo blanket for this thing or what we're going to do but I am a little worried about all the heat on the front tire um not sure I guess we'll see how hot it makes a tire. And if it gets really hot, we'll just get a turbo blanket for it. Hopefully it'll fit. I don't know if it'll fit though. What do? What? 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 Go for it? Go for it? Go for it? <laughs> Such a spaz. Yeah, so I did get uh, some of the exhaust mocked up yesterday. I guess the downpipe, you want to call it? Let me show you real quick. Oh, Lucy's freaking out. Oh, I put the front bumper on. Hold up. Um, it does hang really low, so I don't really like how this downpipe is coming out. Um, I did talk to Brent and the customer, and they both know it's going to be really low, so that's what we're going to have to work with. But... Kind of what I'm working with. It goes down and straight. That flex is kind of nice. Um, it just goes right underneath the other part that I ran over on the crossover. So, yeah, I'm still waiting on the boost actuator to cut out. So, that's probably going to go over there next. And then it will transition from three inch to two and a half after the cutout. So, that way, when he's under boost, he doesn't have a restrictive S exhaust on it. And so, that way, it will still make a good amount of power. And he's going to be taking it back over to wherever he's from. I can't remember exactly where he said he's from, but he's from the Middle East. So, 
Um, I guess you're not allowed to have modified cars there. So his goal with this thing is obviously you have to keep the AC because it's so hot and it needs an oil cooler too to help um, just cool it that much more. And I think these things don't really have like a lot of total oil volume in them. So he needs it to be as sleeper as possible, which is kind of weird because it's green and has logos on it, has a big tire on it. But so he's the one anything obvious. So that's why we didn't do a bumper exit on it. There's not going to be a hole in the bumper for the turbo, so the only thing you're really going to be able to see is the intercooler and maybe the exhaust if you look way underneath it. But, yeah. Um, I need to work on this, but I do have to run down to Denver real quick to get a uh, transmission cooler for the RX-7. Uh, the training should be done here on Friday, hopefully. That's what my training builder said. And that is why Lucy is so excited because that's if she wants to go for a ride. You want to go for a ride? Go for a ride? <laughs> Let me go get this trans cooler and we'll get back to work on this 350Z. <laughs> just got back from picking the trans cooler up. It's just like a stock one out of some truck or something. But it should work really good for what I need. I mean, it's not super big, but I've been told by my trans builder and multiple other people that they only get hot while they're on the trans brake. And I mean, I will have a 3500 stall converter in it, so it might get a little warm, but they said as long as I have an aftermarket cooler and as long as it's getting airflow or has a fan, it should be good as long as I'm not doing like back-to-back -back passes on the trans brake. So, yeah. Just gotta wait for the trans to get done and then install that and hopefully make some sick-ass launches on the street. But, got that. Now I gotta work on this RX or this 350Z some more. Oh, Lucy, you're ruining the shot. Still gonna wait on that boost actually to cut out. And also I did forget, I still have a mount on the wastegate, so I'm gonna have to do that too. I'm already know where it's gonna go. Uh, I haven't really done much with the wastegate because he brought me this box that has parts of a wastegate in it, but doesn't have any bolts to hold the top on. And then it also doesn't have a fire ring, so I can make the entry for it and like make the mount for it but i can't really install it so that's kind of shitty but yeah so i'm gonna take down pipe off maybe look at doing that because i totally forgot about that but it shouldn't be too bad to do so i did end up redoing this side um with that flex right there it made it so there's only three inches from the ground or the road to the downpipe, and i didn't really like that um the flex is obviously a little bit bigger than three inch tubing so I added the flex to the other side and now I have um, about four and a quarter inches from the ground to the downpipe so that is I mean that's not a lot but that is better than what it was and right here where this bend ends is the shortest part that I have weld this stuff up and then maybe work on the inner clear piping um, I gotta work on also making a better mount for this side because on the bot it has a spot on this bottom tab here but the spot that it normally goes into is broken on this support thing so i'm gonna find something that goes from here maybe up to here or somewhere in here um i do got to make that a little bit better that bracket is a little hood i gotta maybe move some of the wiring for the horns because this horn is like it's really stretched out yeah just some little things try to see if i can record as much as i can and not forget like i normally do i just sometimes get in the zone and I just work a whole lot better when I'm not filming and I just forget to film stuff, but get this stuff welded up and then maybe work on the center cooler piping. So I did get the inner cooler fully mounted. Um, I welded this tab on there so it doesn't have that weird little ghetto bracket. Um, it's r really strong. I mean, it's not going nowhere. I also welded this over here onto it. Uh, since it was missing this bottom bracket right here, it's like ripped out. If you can't see it, like up in here, it's all ripped out. But this side has it. So with just this side on, this side of the intercooler would flop all over the place. That's why I had to put that other bracket on there. Um, I had to remake this piece also because um, the piece that the intercooler came with wasn't long enough. This one right here wasn't long enough, so I had to do that. But yeah, that's all mounted up. Um, I kind of got the wastegate entry somewhat cut. Um, it's going to come off. 
this bend right here to give it a lot of priority. And obviously I'm gonna shorten this up, but then the wastegate's gonna come off here as short as I can get it. And it all fits in the bumper. Um, hopefully be cutting that out later today. So yeah, hopefully a single gate works because there's not a lot of room for the other one, but we can still fit another one if we really had to. Um, yeah, just some stuff I'm working on. The clear piping is kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not that bad. It's really short, so but it's gonna have some weird angle to it because it was not just a 45 because I tried to put a 45 in there and it's a little somewhat of a weird angle because it's got to go down a little bit at the same time and turn over. But I'm going to just do some cool pie cuts and I should take care of that. Shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully get this thing out of here and start working on the next project. Got a whole bunch of these elbows so I can make another manifold. It's going to be sick. So I got this side fit up. Got a couple pie cuts in there. Holy shit, this thing won't focus. But I already got it welded up. It fits a lot better than it did with just the 45 on it. So I'm gonna take the turbo back off and put this uh, wastegate entry on there. I got it somewhat mocked up. It just kinda chills in here like this a little bit. Oh shit. We'll get a better video of that once I take it off, but obviously this is gonna be shortened. So this is kind of what I was talking about with the uh, wastegate entry. Um, I just tacked it. Obviously I didn't cut the hole yet, but I just tacked it so I could mark all the way around it with a marker. So I, when I take it off, I can somewhat get a rough idea. I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to cut on the inside of the line, like way inside. But I need to chop it there too. Might chop a little bit more off of it. But yeah, so I just break this thing off. And kind of... I'll probably take an angle grinder and cut around it and then use a die grinder to clean it up. You don't say. YOLO. Motherfucker's gonna look great. Wastegate entry is gonna be on point. So like my theory about this right is as it as the air is coming into it right it's going to come into it through here and it's just going to keep going straight so when the wastegate opens it won't creep as bad because it just the exhaust can be flowing straight anyways and if, it, if it's open it's going to keep flowing straight for the most part um yeah because the path least resistance of least resistance is just going straight so um with it closed obviously it's still going to flow up and out of it but need to weld this up real quick and then go take my ass to bed. <sighs> Early shit. Got this thing welded up last night pretty late. Didn't finish welding this, welding this thing until like 12.30, 1 o'clock. Wastegate entry came out pretty good. Having some weird argon uh, issues. So I'm not sure if it's because my bottle's low, but I've never... I don't really had any problems with it once it gets low anyways, and it's not even that low. It's at, it's at like 500 PSI, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, I might have to go get some more argon today. But yeah, check that wastegate entry out. Oh, you piece of shit. It won't focus. Up. It's all purged. There's no sugar on the inside. Um, that should work really well. I already explained it to you guys, but um, like I said, I don't have a lot of argon left, so I don't know if I'll be able to weld this downpipe today, but I really want to try because uh, one of my friends is bringing his car so I can make a manifold on it, and I got a lot of elbows that I need to polish. So I've been working on the 350Z again, as you can see, took a break from the Integra. Um, I went and talked to Brent today, well actually I talked to him the other day. And uh, we talked about the exhaust it's going to have. And I'm just going to leave the downpipe how I had it earlier. So it just ends over here and they're going to run the exhaust stuff. Um, as you can see, I worked on the intercooler piping today on this side since I already had the other side made. It just comes down and around up into there. Comes out right there. Comes up and uses that piece that I showed earlier that it already had. I just welded a 45 right here. So it came out a little bit better than I thought it was gonna. 
yeah, it's a really tight area. I was kind of worried about it turning and hitting on the tire, but I got plenty of room down in there, so we good. Um, yeah, this, I mean, now all I have left, they're going to come get this, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. And all I have left to do now is jack it back up, take off those two pipes in there, those two right there, and clean them out with some brake cleaner since there's just, I mean, uh, like when they cut them, they normally use a bandsaw with coolant, so it's got some coolant residue in it. And the uh, dust from like cutting stuff and grinding stuff and sanding it um, just sticks to it. So I'm gonna make sure everything's clean for him so nothing runs through his baller ass turbo. Um, I did get the beads rolled on these, so now they have a nice lip to catch on to. This thing does not like to focus on shiny stuff, but yeah, should work pretty great. Just finished taking this stuff off, cleaning it up, and that'll be a wrap with this 350Z. So I got everything cleaned out and put back on. Oh, really late. I'm really tired. Just kind of want to go to bed. Oh, man. But yeah, coming out pretty good. Um, obviously, I don't have the wastegate on there, but the wastegate needs some love. Before it actually goes on there, the oil cooler line is just chilling, but this is all I was supposed to do, so it is now ready to bring back over to Brent, and he's going to finish the rest of it. Um, I was going to do the exhaust on it, but he is going to end up doing that, so I should have other stuff I could be doing, and it was, it was supposed to be a bumper exit at first, so that is why I kind of ran most of the downpipe. And they're gonna modify it because it's something that was added to it once I got the car. So yeah, my job is basically done. I was just supposed to do the fab work. They're gonna get it all ready. Um, it still needs quite a bit. I think it still needs quite a bit for it to be running and making some power. But yeah, also, I don't know if I'm gonna upload this tonight. I might, just depends. Um, might have a pretty good surprise for you guys tomorrow. Might throw some nitrous oh shit we got a notification but I might throw some nitrous on the rx7 for tomorrow going out to uh my tuners he rented out the track down in colorado springs so gonna be going out there uh doing some testing in the rx7 hopefully wire up a hundred shot on it we'll see but yeah it's gonna be for this video guys hopefully it wasn't too boring for you if you don't like watching fab work i don't know why you're watching this but thanks for watching Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like this shit. Do whatever you want. Thanks for watching.